Just 10 days left in the most expensive House race in history as Republicans are working to keep a Georgia seat that they have held for decades and a Democrat is trying to take it. Here's our Nick Valencia. They say politics and religion don't mix, and usually they don't. But today at St. James United Methodist Church near Atlanta, there's no dancing around it. It's a huge concern, and it's turned me for this election into a Democrat. You're the piano player. I am. Just Marilyn Humphreys has lived in the 6th Congressional District for 37 years. Thanks to voters like her, it's been a Republican stronghold since the 1970s. A lot's changed since then. See, I've always voted for Tom Price when he was our a representative, so I'm sorry to see this change. You're changing but your vote now I'm from a Republican vote to... I oh. definitely am. Humphrey says under President Trump, she hates what her party has become. So come June 20th, her vote in the congressional runoff will be for Democrat John Ossoff. Uh, the Republicans have just kind of been polled in mass and said, do this, do this, do this, and then woof, off they go. But it's time to change, and I think it has to change with young people who are committed to a broader view. Her church peers say they're also upset at President Trump and what he's turned Washington into. Anything in Washington is a Eric Edbo is a lifelong Republican. I wouldn't be surprised if somebody showed up with a big red nose and you know, started squirting water. It's, it's just a joke. Hey, pleasure to meet you. Nice but for Edbo, he's you. most bothered by what he says Ossoff and the Democrats are up to in District 6. Do they have to bring in people okay. to support this kid from out of our district? Aren't there enough people that are homegrown that really want him? The out-of-state influence bothers you. It does. It also bothers Doug Scales. He won't say which party he's from, but it doesn't take long to find out how he feels about the 30-year-old Democrat and his Republican opponent, Karen Handel. He will be relegated to the hay boy, which means... Well, they, here, here's how you vote. That's right. Here's how you vote. He will not have any power to help you or I. And you think Karen Handel will? No, no. Nobody will. It's that political fatigue among local Georgia voters that's making the 6th congressional race so interesting and competitive. Beyond St. James, we wanted to see how Washington was affecting voter sentiment in other parts of District 6. You like Donald Trump and him liking Karen Handel makes you like her. Yeah, I, mean, I can't help it. It's going to be more of a um, Democrat showing our support to ourselves and uh, redeeming myself by voting. I am planning on voting for John Osa. Is that a vote for Ossoff or is it a vote against Trump? It's a vote against Trump. <laughs> Back at St. James, there's plenty of Trump talk too. But ultimately, they say on June 20th, he shouldn't be the person who decides the election. You're looking at it as a, as a referendum on Trump. Should it not and, be? Well, no, not really. It's just a congressional race. It may just be a congressional race for some, but for others, this has national implications. And if there's any indication it does, Vice President Mike Pence was in Atlanta this week to stump for Republican Karen Handel. And the latest poll by a local newspaper here, the Atlanta Journal-Constitution, Democrat John Ossoff beats Handel by seven points with just two weeks to go. Nick Valencia, CNN, Atlanta.